All right, guys, on this episode of Confusing Matthew, we're going to talk about the ultralight folder and why I honestly don't really get this trend. Now, what I mean by this is there's been a huge push, especially in the past few years, to make knives, especially like the Bug Out, like the Deca, even to an extent like this good old little Benchmade 556 um, mini grip. But ultimately, the core, it's this push to ultralight folders and i think what the most characteristic features of an ultralight folder are is that you usually have a very thin blade around a tenth of an inch thick or thinner and you have very slim usually very flat handles that once again are very thin and a weight of around un like under three ounces preferably heading towards you know uh, close to an ounce and these blades are incredibly thin incredibly light and incredibly portable but what i really don't get is this push in the edc community towards these knives like i don't get why or what people see in them now don't get me wrong I do have one use case in all of my EDC kind of ventures of where I do prefer to have ultralight folders. And that's predominantly when like working out, when doing trail running, when every ounce does really count and I try to pack as light as possible. And in those situations, I'm not really anticipating, you know, hard or heavy use of a folding knife. It's more if I just need to open something up real quick or, you know, cut the tag off something. It's to have a blade to do, you know, blade tasks, but I'm not really, you know, that, um, not sure I'll even actually use it. So in those types of situations, that's why I tend to pack one of these folders. But at the core, I don't really get why so many people, because I genuinely get this uh, comment quite a bit that people love carrying things like the Bug Out, the Deca, and like I said, they are good knives from a build quality, if, if albeit a little bit overpriced with the Bug Out. But a lot of people say like, these are their go-to folders, and I don't really get it. And what it makes even less sense, at least in my opinion, is the shockingly high amount of people that buy, especially bug outs for this reason, but they buy something like a bug out and then they buy, you know, oversized like titanium or micarta or even G10 handles that add to the bulk of the knife. And for me, that I think blows my mind most of all, because it's like, so you just bought a ultralight folder, a blade that was designed to be as lightweight as possible, right? And then you throw some metal handles on there. Some people even put like copper handles on these guys or brass handles. It just blows my mind. Cause it's like, now you're like being completely antithetical to the entire ethos of the design of these knives and that is like I said to be as lightweight as slim as minimalistic as possible and to make an end package that is something that you would want to carry more often. Now I think that that is kind of like the design ethos behind why many of these knives are created is that knife manufacturers want to create a knife that is lightweight, thin, slim, and something that you would want to carry every day. But for me, I think it kind of goes back to like, if the if the model isn't broken like why fix it right like this uh, this chris reeve and cozy for me is something that feels completely natural in my hand and while it is definitely heavier than all of these knives um it, it just feels right and to be honest like when it comes down to it if i put this in my pocket or if i put this in my pocket like at least in my you know average edc type pants that are going to have a belt holding them up anyways that will be supporting a firearm that will be doing a lot of things anyways you know i'm not going to notice distinguishably the difference between having this in my pocket this large and cozy versus having a deca or a bug out right like these are going to be, feel pretty much all the same and so i'm not really going to notice much of the difference so why carry something that noticeably or feels noticeably less um, hand filling or is a little bit more awkward in hand than something like just a normal full-sized folder like why limit yourself to something surely because you want to save a couple ounces especially like i said in edc where it's like to be honest i'm carrying things like a you know leatherman charge plus with my edc you know like my edc is already going to be pretty robust and a little bit on the heavier side so why like limit myself in usability and functionality by settling with a knife that is going to be just overall very thin, super lightweight, and 
you know, what in the end is really like two ounces at the top? Like, are you really telling me that you can tell a two ounce difference when a knife is sitting in your pocket? Like, I don't know. To me, it just doesn't really feel like it makes a lot of sense. But like I said, I think whether you do choose to rock a bug out or a deca or something along those lines because it's ultralight, at least if you do choose to, to run that way, please, for the love of God, please do not throw like heavy, especially like copper or brass or you know some other heavy metal on the handles of these knives because it's just completely antithetical. And I think that if you're going to the point where you're literally throwing you know a metal on your handle scales or choosing a metal as the handle for your knife, like just step up to something that's going to have metal handles already. And it doesn't necessarily have to be an Incosi. I'm showing the Incosi because that's just what I chose to grab. But you know, it could honestly be something like the ZT0562. You know, this is honestly not that much more expensive than something like the Bug Out. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than the Deca for sure. But you know, if, if we're talking about the Bug Out here, you know, this is like a $170 knife versus a like $250 knife. So it's not too unthinkable, but if you're really wanting to get something that has, you know, solid, sturdy metal handles, like you could get the full titanium version of this for like 220 bucks. So, you know, honestly, like, I don't know, it, it leaves my mind and when I see that kind of stuff, it just makes no sense to me. Maybe you guys in the comment section below have some kind of secret, you've cracked some kind of code so you know why people do this. And I always look forward to the comments because of that reason, because most of the time I just feel like I'm going insane or I'm crazy. But uh, yeah, that's kind of my perspective on the ultralight folders. I don't know why so many exist or why so many people feel the need to push towards that in the industry. Maybe you guys have the answer, but as always, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed my insane ramblings. And as always, God bless, and I'm out.